Welcome everybody, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is the circus event, or the march event in Abyssrium. Um, it's on a slow rollout, as all of these are, and just a note before we get started here, um, if you have not yet gotten all 20 days of the little Valentine's um, thingy, what you can actually do, even though the Valentine's Day event has ended, the days count towards the baby sunfish and stuff, so you might disable auto-updates and wait until you get that sunfish. If you're really close and you really want the sunfish more than you want one day of, you know, the the Christmas event or the, the circus event, um, you might want to do that. Because as soon as you download this update, it will end the countdown for real. Um, the the update is on a slow rollout as always. That means it may take up for it may take up to a week for it to roll out to everybody. It'll probably be if you don't have it by Monday, then I might you know, double check and make sure things are working right. Otherwise, it's just might be, you know, it's just a slow rollout. It always does that. Um, it always will do that. I don't know why they do that. It's dumb, but yeah. So, the way this event works is it's just like the last one. First thing you want to do, close this main menu here, open up the palette menu, sploop right down to the costume and die and theme section. You want to buy all three of these. Um, the theme, I think, is optional, but hey, it's neat, it's permanent, might as well buy it. First, you want to get the circus stage, because that unlocks Mr. Crab here, who gives you lots of uh, candies, or tickets, as they are in this event, but I'm just going to call them candies. Um, you want to buy at least the clown and the die, because the, the costume and the die, because those are required for fish. Don't believe the theme is required for things, but you may as well get it, just in case. And it's cheap, it's a nice, you know, visual effect there. Um, so... There is a new guide on my site that kind of just compiles all of the different ways, all of the different events into one guide now. Uh, just kind of keep things simple. You can just bookmark the one guide for events and the one guide for not events. And um, so it'll hopefully be a little bit easier to track that way. So let's go through the hidden fish. Not too many this time. The first one is the Prig Kramis. Krami, how would you say that? Um, you just have to watch five ads for event currency. That means click this button here, watch five times. Um, pretty easy as far as the ad ones are concerned. Jester Cowfish, you gotta equip the Circus Die, which is the one that gives you the crab, so that should be the first thing you do anyway. And then you just take three pictures of the crab. You don't have to share them, you don't have to do anything silly with them, just take three pictures of the crab in a row, and that'll give you to you. Uh, Feather Hat Sea Slug is the first one that'll take um, a little bit of effort. You gotta tap bubbles for the little tickets. 100 times from the Parade Band Nautilus. And so the easiest way to do that is to go to your Manage Fish here, uh, store all your fish, only take out the, only take out this boy, put three of them in there. And then what you can do, they kind of zoom around outside of the map. So what you can do is kind of follow them around with this expand mode and look around in here and then tap on their bubbles. And that just makes it a little bit easier. So after you get 100, don't count, just keep tapping until you unlock it, seriously. <laughs> Every time people get confused and they count wrong, because 100 is a lot to manually keep in your head. Um, that'll get to the Feather Hat Sea Slug. Jester Frog is the first unlock that is very rude. Um, you might notice that I do not actually have it yet. Um, to get the Jester Frog, you have to use Song of the Moon 50 times. So basically, you gotta wait 7 to 15 minutes, uh, click that recharge skill, watch an ad, cast the moon, uh, you know, repeat that 50 times. Uh, better than recent events, but no, absolutely not. Um, but uh, it's still going to take you a little while. Um, that's right, Parker. Yes. Um, the Jester Dumbo, you need to equip the clown costume, then cast the Hermit Crab skill 20 times. Uh, that'll take you about two days because you get 10 casts per day for free. I don't recommend buying extra casts with, uh, with the candy. That's... I don't recommend it. Um... You only get half of the casts for free that way. Um, it's random trivia bit. They reduced the cost of casting the crab. It's just 10 now. Just 10 candies to charge it up, which I think is a lot more fair. It's just less mindless tapping and waiting in an already pretty <laughs> mindless tappy and waity game. Um, Ringmaster Penguin. Um, this one requires pretty much every fish before it. You have to share a picture of every fish with Jester or Circus in the name. So you can't even think about doing that one until you get the um, Jester Dumbo and the Jester Frog. Those will probably be the last ones you get. And um, you, to share, you don't have to really share, 
the the way you can quote unquote share in this game is you take a picture, click the share button, and then just cancel out. You don't have to post it at all. Uh, some people post it to like a private Facebook or like you know only I can view it visibility mode. Uh, you don't have to post it at all. Um, so. Oh, and the Circus Float Whale is hidden for some reason, and you just have to own 80 Circus Event Fish. Um, it's an odd little unlock, but yeah. That's right, Parker. And for all of these things that need you to own 60 Event Fishes, the, the real best way to do that um, is... Oh, it, it actually says fishes. I, I thought I was having a brain derp there, but no, it says fishes. Anyway, um, plural fish is fish, by the way. But... Well, the best way is to buy lots of these Jester Idols. They're by far the cheapest thing in the game, um, and there's nothing else you really need to hoard lots of. Uh, if you want to just go ahead and get five of each or whatever, um, that's up to you, but that's pretty expensive, and personally, I'm just gonna get... I think you can have, like, 60. Uh, it it kind of sucks to have so many of the same fish, but I think, optimally speaking, it's probably just best to just get 60 of them about of the Jester Idol. I don't have the exact numbers worked out. We don't quite have the cost tables. Um, somebody on Reddit or something will probably work it out. If you know the total cost of the event, um, let me know in a comment and once we get that info, I'll pin a comment to the top of the, uh, to the video. So we'll have that info. Um, there's also one kind of hidden fish. Um, there is the, the Feather Mask Cuttlefish. Um, you can see it in the list here, but you have to do all of the circus event quests, which is here. There's actually two different kinds of events now. So it's for this, the feather, the, for the big boy, you need to get where circus event, oh wait, no, this is the different. Like I said, there's two quests now, so I'm all confused. You need to use the circus leader hermit crab skill three times, easy stuff. Um, you need to dig with the crab 10 times, and I actually had to do this 11 times. I went back into that menu after 10 and it didn't work. So make him dig. I said make him dig. You just gotta click him a lot, and then he'll dig, give you a thing, and every time you get that... Oh, hey! Um, once every day you can get um, pearls, gems, or um, a bigger bunch of tickets from that. Um, it only happens once per day, though. Um, so then after you do that, um, I had to do it 11 times. Uh, then you have to harvest uh, 100 sea urchins, and you have to harvest them manually. Um, and what I mean is you have to wait for the bubble to pop up over the sea urchin farm. And harvest it that way. The auto-harvest does not work. The assistant sea otter does not work, so you have to collect them manually. Um, for the fourth one, you'll notice I haven't unlocked it yet, but for the fourth one, thank you, Parker, you have to use the hermit crab skill a hundred times total, and that's probably a hundred times after unlocking that level. So that's another, that's ten days gone right there, so that's cool, fun. Uh, and then you have to have a hundred event fish, which again, that basically buy a, just a complete buttload of Jester Idol Fish. Which is a shame that's a thing. Um, and as far as total cost, I'm gonna say bare minimum we're talking about 400,000 candy here, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure if it's the most expensive event, so to speak, um, but you need at least three um, whales, which are 500 or 50,000, 50,000 each. So that's 150,000 right there. Feather Mask Cuttlefish, following recent trends, it's almost certainly 100,000 candy on that alone. Um, you're gonna get probably another 50 to 100,000 just from the other fish, almost certainly. So, pretty high costs all around. And then there's a second quest here. And with this quest, Parker, you're really being frustrating. Um, with this quest, you can see all of the unlocks right away. Uh, and these get you expand items, which is kind of neat. I like this a lot better than the login for 20 days thing from the Valentine's Day event. Um, so for the first one, they're all just listed out here. You just have to equip the circus event, die, instantly get that. Own 15 circus fish, you'll have to do that anyway. Then you log in for three days. Um, not a big deal considering some of the other unlocks. Use the hermit crab skill 50 times after you do the three days thing. So get that attendance one out of the way as soon as you can. Then it'll take another five days for this one. Then you need to create three float whales, which again, that's 150,000 candy. That's really expensive. And then own 14 event fish. That's, I believe, just all of the event fish. I think that's just, you have to own all of them. Um, yeah, that's everything except the premium one, which you never have to get the premium one for anything. Yeah, it's a lion. Um, the premium fish is never required for anything. So, that's how to get everything in the new event. Um, there's also new fusion fish, none of them are hidden, but 
once you open the app, you'll probably unlock a bunch of them, but they're at the bottom of the fusion list. Once more, all of this info is in my written guide if you missed anything or are confused. I really recommend checking out the written guide. I don't like video guides myself. I use my own written guides whenever possible. I really don't like video stuff. Um, so check that out if anything was unclear or if you just want to learn more about the game. A lot of people seem really new with the game, so I really would recommend if you're new, checking out the guides to begin with, because the video guides are like, they're like catching you up to what's, you know, they're catching you up to the brand new stuff. They're not really meant to be a full brand new basic, okay, this game is called the Bistrium. This is what is known as a fish, you know, <laughs> it's not quite that level, but if you read the guide, it does have everything, if you read the written guide. So that's everything in the new update. Um, it seems better than the last one, but I'm still... The last one was the first event that I did not complete 100%. Uh, I never... I didn't get even, like, most of them. It was awful, honestly. <laughs> uh, I did not enjoy the last event, and... Uh, but this one, I think I might at least finish. I, I don't know. I guess it depends on cost. But I've gotten up to the Circus Trainee Monk Seal, and it hasn't been too bad. I uh, hope it stays that way, but yeah. So... Hope that helps. Hope you enjoy. Tap Tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.